AirMessage allows for the use of Apple's iMessage on any Android device. This video will walk you through the steps of setting up AirMessage for the very first time. In order to run AirMessage, you need a Macintosh computer running Yosemite or higher and an Android device running Marshmallow or higher. Installing AirMessage is simple. Visit the AirMessage site at airmessage.org and grab a copy of the software. Drag it from your downloads to your application folder and open it from there. You will be greeted with this screen when you first launch the app. You will be able to check on your server later up here in the menu bar. Once you see the server is running, you should be good to go. However, with the release of macOS Mojave, Apple has introduced some new security features requiring a few extra steps. Automation allows AirMessage to send messages, and full disk access allows AirMessage to read your messages. You'll want to allow access to both of these for AirMessage to run properly. Finally, in the Preferences window, select a new password for AirMessage to use. Your password is used to secure your messages and should never be shared with anyone. Close the window to save your changes, and once everything is set up, the server is running. The next step is to allow your Android device to connect to your server from anywhere on the Internet. This involves a procedure called port forwarding. It allows devices to connect through your router back to AirMessage on your Mac even when you're not at home. First, you need to discover your local computer IP address. To do this, open System Preferences and navigate to Network. Select your network on the left and your local IP address will be displayed on the right. Next, we need to register your computer to a port forwarding rule. Configuration for port forwarding depends on your router model, so please consult your router's manual for details on how to do this. For this example, we are using an ASUS router interface. You need to enter your computer's local IP address, as well as the port and protocol. The port is set at 1359 by default, and the protocol is TCP. Unless you have reason to change these, these optional fields can be left blank. Also, please note that it's recommended you assign your computer a static IP address. This will prevent your computer's internal IP address from changing and breaking your port forwarding setup. Of course, be sure to save and apply your same changes. Finally, as public IP addresses can also change, we are going to set up a dynamic DNS provider to help keep track of these changes. Otherwise, if your IP address changes when you don't have access to your home network, you could lose access to AirMessage. You can choose whatever dynamic DNS provider you find the most convenient. The process, for the most part, will be the same. Register an account online, download and run the client software, and set it up. Here, we are using Dynu system software, although no IP is another popular service, as well as Duck DNS. All that's left to do now is get the app running on your smartphone. Navigate to the Google Play Store to download AirMessage. Enter your server's IP address, which should be the host name you picked from your dynamic DNS provider. The password should match the password you assigned to your server. If you are having any issues connecting, please verify the networking setup. It may be helpful to first connect across your local network using your computer's internal IP address and then try your public IP address and finally your dynamic DNS host name. Once you're connected, you'll be prompted to download your messages. This will fetch all of your recent conversations, messages and attachments to ensure a seamless transition. This concludes the AirMessage installation tutorial. If you have any questions, send us an email, hello at airmessage.org.